Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a Rosenthal family edition. We're gonna talk about traveling with a pet because we went through months and months of preparation to get Rue certified, to get her on the plane. We were going to Italy and we wanted to make sure that we took her with us. It was a family trip. Family trip. So I want to first of all tell you guys about the process of getting her certified and then also all the products that we brought with us because it was a lot. It was really like, it was good. This is preparing us one day for possible parenthood, right? Yeah, it's gonna happen. Except you can't use like a loud spray it's when the baby happen. cries. You can. No, you can't. Not suggested. But I'll show you guys like all the products that we brought with us and some of the really cool like carriers and things that we have that will be really helpful. She's chewing on my finger at this point. So stay tuned, we're gonna tell you what it was like after the break. All right guys, so for those of you who think that it's like an easy task to take your dog on a flight, especially an international flight to another country, this is just part this of the This is the paperwork. paperwork. This is what it took to get her partially on the plane and then also into the EU. We have our adoption papers in here. Yeah. My adoption papers are in here. Yeah. In case they question you, bring uh -huh. me back. And your shots. If you meet all the requirements to actually bring your pet on the plane, they want to know what happens when the animal has to go to the bathroom. And then what's the what's the process? Some animals are pee pad trained, others are not. Um, and some of them just hold it. And that's what Rue did. We had only taken her on one flight to Vegas. An hour, one yeah. hour. And she had growled at the pilot, she growled at the flight attendant. It, was not, it wasn't Basically great. Basically growled at everybody. She doesn't like people in uniform. I know that every country has different rules. I know that every airline has different rules. So you guys really have to take like what we say. This is just what our journey was on American. We'd float Air Italia. Before we even get into this, Rue is certified as an ESA dog. Yeah, absolutely. You went to the hospital last year. Yeah, so I actually suffered a panic attack that I talked to you guys about back in December. Fainted, it was really scary for all of us. I feel so much better, but I worked with a psychologist and we basically went through and did all the paperwork and I, I went through an interview process. Like they really do check to see if like you're bullshitting or not. So she passed the test. You passed the test, yeah. I passed the test. But she's been so amazing and really has been so helpful for me in my just mood and like calming me down. Anyways, we did the ESA paperwork and then we went to the airline and because they're only allowed to have so many ESA dogs on a plane. So when we booked our flights months in advance, we told them about Rue. You actually need quite a bit of time and it's not even just the airline, but it's wherever you're going. They need to have paperwork that's uh, sign some of it has to be notarized some of it has to be approved by the USDA all right guys So cats and dogs can travel from the US to Italy as long as they have the following a valid veterinary certificate Stating the owner's details the description of the animal details of identification and vaccinations number two a valid rabies vaccine Number three a tattoo or a microchip Number four the cage of the carrier must be labeled with the owner's name Number five, once in Italy, an Italian vet can issue an EU pet passport, which allows travel within Europe, which is awesome. Yes, animals must be over three months old to enter Italian territory. We actually then, the hotels that we were staying at, and we had an Airbnb, so we looked up like vets that were close to all of those places so that, God forbid, anything happened, we knew like, who we would be able to call. So there was like some work that went into it, but I will tell you this it was a thousand percent worth it because we had the funnest trip. She was like the highlight of our trip. Everyone loved having her around. It was really so great. What kind of food did you pack for Rue on the trip? You can tell our food journey. Yeah, so normally Rue eats a, uh, a food from a company called Ollie and she loves it. But Ollie arrives frozen, so because we were traveling such a long distance, we thought bringing frozen food with us was gonna be kind of a nightmare. So we brought some dry food, she didn't like it. And we tried, uh, people recommended putting vegetable broth over it, she still didn't like it. We tried uh, cutting up little carrots and putting it in there, she still didn't like it. There was probably two or three days where she barely ate anything, and it took I a while. I had the hotel like make soups and put carrots and mushed carrots and tried to like mimic the ollie. She would pull the, the carrot out, food. but would leave the dry food behind. She was super, super picky. We ended up finding something in Italy that was called, what is it? Food, food? for dogs. Food it's for like dogs. It's in a tin foil. It's an Italian brand. It's, um, it's a wet food that was sealed, vacuum sealed, and it actually came from one of the hotels. 
and she loved it. So it took us a and little while. And your sister hand fed her, remember? She got so hungry we were driving from Tuscany to Como and your sister hand fed her. She was so hungry she ate like each piece out of her hand and like finally ate Like one more so at a time. I actually knows you're talking about her. Yeah, because she's a good girl. So the next question is about anxiety and if Rue gets super anxious. Um, we have an emotional support dog for Rue and we brought that dog as well. Yes, she is an anxious dog. She's gotten a lot better since we sent her to training. Okay. Rue had only been on one flight, so we brought all the things. And everybody, this is this cute little carrier that we got. Um, I think we got this at like a Petco. It's Sleepy Pod. I'll show you some others that we have. But, so we went to our vet and we asked if we could get, I guess it's like dog Xanax. And everybody suggested trying it. This is Alprazolam. Alprazolam. Yeah, Alprazolam. So you can ask your vet, there's a ton of different dog Xanax and we tried giving her one and it was a disaster. It was like she was hyped up, she didn't get calm, she got really like nervous, just didn't want to sit, like wanted to go to his lap and then mine and then his lap, like it was crazy. Shout out to all of you moms out there that have kids on planes, I don't even know how you do it, I was freaking out. Somebody suggested actually on my Instagram to try this Nature Vet Quiet Moments Calming Aid, it's a melatonin, it's just like a chew. This actually worked really well, and she seemed to be pretty chill and relaxed. It didn't put her to sleep, but it just made her like kind of relaxed. But I had a ton of people tell me about all different types of medication that their vet has given their dogs, so ask your vet about it because they'll know what's best for your little guy. All right, so then everybody loves a CBD, even dogs. Um, we actually, this is Zen Pup, the label just came off, but this is Zen Pup CBD spray that we just sprayed in her treat. And then this is a company called Toast that does a wild Alaskan salmon CBD. And even like with fireworks or anything, it's really helpful just to have this on hand. All right, so let me show you guys the little goodie bag. Definitely make sure that you travel with wet wipes. These are from a company called Pet Biotics, especially Mike is like the neat freak in the family. He was obsessed with using these because it's like, I feel like we really loved it when we, oh yeah, when we stopped at gas stations to take her to go to the bathroom. Gas stations or even the, um, the pet relief areas in airports. Ooh. So some airports, some airports have them, some don't. But make sure that you guys look at the airports too yeah. when you're driving to the airport to see where the pet relief area is. Sometimes they're outside before you before you come in. Obviously her brush, cause duh, you never know when you're gonna it's get it. It's really relaxing for her. I'm actually mad I didn't bring our pet shampoo because there was a couple times that she like rolled in, we went on a hike, and remember she rolled in She could find deer like poop. deer poop and with rubber face in it and then roll her whole body in it. Yeah, that was fun. This is something new to us, because we did not know, but Rue's belly, I mean, you got a little sunburned, but we actually just found out there is dog, what's it sunblock. called? Sunblock. Sunblock, there's dog sunblock. This one's called EpiPet, um, it's a spray, and then this one is my dog knows it. It's a sun protection for your dog's nose, because I guess their ears and their nose and their bellies can get sunburned. We're those people, I just realized. We're the dog parents that have seven different types of sunblocks now. These are doggy sun wipes. It's sunscreen that you can wipe on them whenever. This is another cute carrier. I love this company called Wild One. They have the chicest like leashes and collars and toys. This is a company that I just found on Instagram and like stopped them. This is called Maxbone. They have, this is the cutest bag. You haven't seen this yet. Mm. How cute is this? And the little head comes out here. They have all the things. This is a little <laughs> raincoat. So we have a water vest, guys. This she is a, it her. helps her float. It's really visible and then it has a handle on it. So if we do put her in the pool or if when she was in Lake Como, she could swim, we could just pick her up really she easily. She loves swimming, you guys. It's so fun to watch. <laughs> Make sure you bring plenty of poop bags. You guys, we almost ran out. We, I, I thought we packed way too many, but you can never have too many poop bags. This is from a company called Dukes, and they actually are biodegradable poop bags, which I think is really cool. It's a new company. Then this is the biodegradable poop bags from Maxbone. They also have, I mean, I got a lot of stuff. Maxbone has aloe and oatmeal cleansing wipes. It's pina colada scent. Fun. How cute is this t-shirt? This is actually from um, this company called... Boo, boo, oh. Boo. It's B-O-O-O-H. I'll link to it, you guys, down below so you can see, but they have really, really cool dog stuff. Well, we brought the Gucci sweater because we were in Italy, so it's like, you never know. It's Italian. It's Italian. So this sweater is actually from this amazing place called Paw Circle, and they have Moschino and Off-White and Gucci stuff for your dog. It's really cute. We actually lost her collar um, partway through, but we had uh, a really, really nice um, 
kind of hemp fiber collar made from a company called If It Barks. So make sure that you guys pack an extra collar and make sure that you have two dog tags on it with your information. So we brought all of Ruth's favorite toys. This is her, her Coco Chanel, Chunel from Vanderpump Dogs. Um, but we did lose a few things, so make sure that you bring extra toys. So every hotel we went to was so amazing, especially like Il Sereno and Como, Gran Tremezzo Hotel, and Villa de Este. We like called ahead to let them know we're bringing a dog, and they didn't say that they were like super dog friendly. But when we got there, everybody had a bed ready for her. They had little like some of them custom beds. They had things embroidered. They had a blanket embroidered. Monteverdi. Monteverdi in Monteverdi Tuscany. Monteverdi in Tuscany had uh, her name embroidered on a blanket. They had a special little bed. They had two bowls set up for her. She was definitely treated like the princess. Like the Hotel Gran Tremezzo, they actually left this little cute toy for her. It was, everybody was so accommodating and so sweet. It was so fun to watch Rue kind of go around in every hotel guest. Like I don't think anybody was annoyed by her. I think no. everybody was so happy just to see like a little fur baby. Extra food, always have on hand. This is the Rezip reusable bag. Ollie makes this really cute, um, it's a collapsible dog bowl. So we could have, you know, if she needs water or anything. Went on a hike. This. Yeah. Okay, so people are asking, how was she when we needed to leave her in the hotel room? She was okay. She actually slept through most of the nights we left her in the room. Yeah, overall she was really good. I think um, a suggestion for you guys would be leave cartoons on. Like I felt like if we had like TV, she couldn't hear noises outside. So we had like- Disney Channel. Disney Channel in Italian playing. She learned how to speak Italian. To be honest with you guys, when you're traveling with your dog, it's probably similar to your kids. Like. She was pretty pooped by the end of the day. Like she was out and I think she actually appreciated having some quiet like alone time. You <laughs> crazy right now. I really am that person. I just realized I have probiotics for the dog in case she had any sort of intestinal anything. And then you want to care about your dog's teeth. Oh, that was a huge fly. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. That was crazy. So this is a stuff called oral care. It's like a breath tart tartar. Breath tar oh no, it helps with breath and tartar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it helps with plaque, gums, breath, and tartar. Um, but it's really fun and she loves it. And we got this from our dog dentist. And you just spray the little brush and then she loves it. And we get in there. She doesn't like it right she now. Like it. This is the oh, yeah. London Broil flavor um, pet smile toothpaste. And she does like it. Do you want to have some teeth? Special time? There you go, yeah, brush your teeth. There you go. This has been the most fascinating videos we've ever done. Her sun hat. That was her sun hat. She had a lot of fun photo shoots in that sun hat. So that is everything that we brought. We have accessories, we got the medicine, the foods, everything that we could need. And I will tell you, it was so much easier. Wouldn't you say overall it was so much easier traveling with her than you thought? Yeah, she was actually great. And she really made the, the trip, it felt like a family vacation. Um, everybody really enjoyed playing with her. People would volunteer to take her if we wanted to go. If we were getting massage, people would take her and yeah. say, she's such a good girl. Yeah, it was super fun. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That's all the info that we have on traveling with a pet. Make sure you check with your vet, the airlines, every dog is different. And make sure that if you do take your pet with you, tag me in a photo because I want to see. Make sure you like and subscribe and arrivederci. Arrivederci.